death. Somebody is saying in their heart, but I thought I heard that there are some demons that used to kill people. I thought I heard that there are some witches that used to lay, lay traps for people and destroy them on the way. I will show you how. Hi guys, this is Emeka Hansen and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. The good news is the fears you've had in your heart over time is about to be crushed by this message. I am convinced that if you tap into the revelation shared by Pastor David Oedipo in this sermon, your life would never be the same again. So watch and be blessed. Cheers. And death. Somebody is saying in their heart, but I thought I heard that there are some demons that used to kill people. I thought I heard that there are some witches that used to lay, lay traps for people and destroy them on the way. I will show you how. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 and verse 15. Look at what the word of God tells us here. It says, Hebrews chapter, chapter 2, sorry, verse 14 and verse 15. Hebrews 2, 14 and 15. It tells us there, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 14 and 15. For as much as the children are partakers of flesh and blood that is their flesh and blood he said he also took part of the same he came as flesh and blood that through death he may destroy him that had h-a-d past tense the power of death that is the devil so he doesn't have it again he used to have it before so how is he killing some people now verse 15 he said and deliver them who through the fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. What keeps people tied to the enemy is the fear of death. Hear what the Bible said concerning Job. Job 3 verse 25. It said the things that I greatly feared have come upon me. The things that I fear. It is fear that gives the devil capacity to kill anyone. It is fear. It is fear. He has given us the dominion over death. One of us was sharing this um, story at the WSF yesterday. Very, very striking. During COVID-19 pandemic, a particular person outside the country was tested and they said he has COVID. And as soon as he heard he has COVID, all his organs started shutting down. So they put him on a stretcher and rushed him into the ambulance. And as they got into the ambulance, one of the uh, paramedics just thought, let us use another test kit and test him again. And they tested him and discovered that he really didn't have COVID. And all his organs woke up again. And he jumped out of the, out of the stretcher, left the ambulance and entered his car and drove back home. The same person. Now, there was no sickness, but fear came and death was following it. Is somebody getting what God is saying? When a person looks like they're about to have an accident, somebody inside the car says, Yeah! What is happening? Fear has come. So death is giving room to knock. Is somebody getting it now? Say with me, I have dominion. <laughs> Say louder, I have dominion. <laughs> like your minute, I have dominion. Some years ago, I was teaching and I began to tell the people about the contrast between Stephen and Paul. Stephen was stoned. Paul was stoned. Both were stoned for the purpose of death. One of them, after he was stoned, looked up to heaven and said, Lord, unto you, I commit my spirit. And the Bible says, he's laid down and he slept. Paul was stoned. He said, I don't commit my spirit to anywhere. They gathered around to try to bury him. He stood up because he refused to release his spirit. Now hear this I hear very well. Your spirit cannot be taken from you. It is you that releases it. Is somebody getting it now? When Jesus was to die, what did the Bible say? He yielded up the ghost. He took his spirit and submitted it for the purpose of your redemption and my redemption. That's why he said, no man can take my life from me. A power to lay down. A power to take it again. So the question is this. Why will you lay down now? Where are you hurrying to? Where are you running to? I've decided that I will not join the bricklayers in heaven that are building mansions. I will finish my time here. 
and the time has been allotted except jesus comes it is 120 years the road is still long the road is still long the road is still long i refuse to go anywhere is somebody getting what god is saying no one can take your spirit no one can take your spirit so after teaching in that service one of us in the service had a particular crisis and she said she saw herself just going like this and she began to pray lord unto you i commit then she remembered he said lord i don't commit my spirit i take it back i don't commit it i take it back i collect it shout hallelujah, hallelujah. say with me i have dominion say louder i have dominion what does that mean fear must not be given any room fear must not be given any room don't imagine death don't accommodate the thought of death at every point in time speak life at every point in time speak Speak life. Give no room to the accommodation of the thoughts of death. Keep speaking life. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Keep speaking life. Keep speaking life. It doesn't matter what is going on around you. It doesn't matter what the situation looks like. Keep speaking life. That is the difference maker. Never allow any thought. Don't let it seep into your mind. And when the devil tries to introduce it, speak life to reject it. Is somebody getting what God is saying? Speak life to reject it. You keep declaring it, you keep declaring it, and you keep subduing the power of death. I see that becoming somebody's experience from now. You believe you say loud, amen. Yeah. I say you believe you say loud, amen. Yeah. God's servant, our father, Shane, in the first service, talked about how he taught on the subject victory over death, 1983. Victory over death. He taught, we, the light was palpable. Not long after that, the enemy came to try and knock on the door with death, but he subdued it by light. When, the, when, when he was laying down there and everything looked like it was turning, suddenly... He said he heard a voice what are you doing here he said i don't know too he jumped out of the bed entered into the car and drove off he rode on the head of the devil shout hallelujah, hallelujah. you see the truth is this the devil is not as powerful as he has been pretending to be he's not as powerful as he has been pretending to be there is practical victory and dominion granted unto us over the forces of death so let no one intimidate you in fact don't let the records and histories of the past intimidate you oh they say oh boy this family oh, uh, every every few years somebody somebody used to die like that somebody used to die like that tell them it is minus me my own i have dominion is somebody getting it i can't remember i can't forget the testimony of a particular young man at that time be less than 25 in their family had a notorious man the man calls people every year to tell them when it's their turn to die. So the man, this young man was outside the country. And the man called him, couldn't reach out to him. So he sent somebody to call him and tell him that it's his turn. <laughs> the young man fired back. He said, tell him that I said, within seven days, his first son is dead. And after that, he is also dead. The one who was killing others died within that, that set season. Why? Because he recognized that he had dominion. Don't let the enemy make you shake inside your shoes. No. You are loaded with heaven's dominion. Is somebody getting... Those who advance the kingdom in prayer are advanced by God in power. Those who advance the kingdom in prayer they are advanced by god in power luke chapter 9 verse 28 and 29 as jesus was praying the fashion of his countenance was altered 
by verse 43. He said the people were amazed at the mighty power of God. Those who advance the kingdom in prayer, they are advanced by God in power. That is why we must understand that the altar of prayer is not just an altar of answers, but it's an altar of power. God does not only give us answer in prayer. God gives us power by praying. So the more we stay in prayer, the more we grow in power. That is why we must become addicted to advancing the kingdom of God. Not just praying elementary prayers. Lord, give me this. Lord, give me that. No, advancing the kingdom. Those who show that, who demonstrate their commitment to pushing the kingdom forward. God pushes them forward in power. Shout hallelujah. I said shout hallelujah. I said shout hallelujah. So we must become committed to standing in prayer. Every time you are praying for the lost, you are praying for brethren in the church, you are praying for your converts, you are praying for your home cell, you are praying for the church, you are praying for your unit. As you are spending time, yes, God is giving answers, but God is also growing his power in you. He's giving you access to greater dimensions of power. That is the effect. That is the manifestation. When a nail stays beside a magnet, it doesn't matter what the nail is doing by the magnet. But because it is by the magnet, it is a matter of time. The power, the magnetic power in the magnet begins to manifest through the nail. Is somebody getting it now? Just by reason of connectivity. So it's not that you are just praying and asking for power. But as you are praying advancing the kingdom, God is advancing you in power. You are growing in the magnetic field of God's power around you. That will be somebody's experience from now. Number two is going after souls to the point of establishment. It's another requirement that positions us into greater manifestations of the power of God and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Going after the lost. Going after the lost is another vital tool. If you look at what the Bible tells us in Luke chapter 9 and verse 1, it said Jesus called the 12 and he gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. He gave them power power and authority and he told them ahead i give you power and authority and they went and began to manifest the power in luke chapter 10 and verse 1 he said he appointed 70 also and sent them two by two to all the places where himself will come and this time he didn't even give them a clue of what has been done and the bible tells us in verse 17 the 70 returned again with joy saying even devils were subject to us with, through thy name, even devils. And Jesus told them in verse 19, he said, behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. You see, Jesus was making them understand as you are going for me, you keep growing in power. As you are going for me, you keep growing in power. Every step you take, as far as pursuing the loss is concerned, it's a step to increase in the dimension of power. Mark chapter 16 verse 15, it said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Verse 17, he said, and he that this sign shall follow them that believe. And verse 20, as they went, manifesting the instruction he gave, he began to confirm the word with signs and wonders following. So every time you're on the go, Keep reminding yourself, it's another opportunity to grow in the manifestation of God's power. So as we keep going, we keep growing. As we keep pursuing the lost, we keep expanding our access to the flow of God's power. Shout hallelujah. I say shout hallelujah. We keep expanding our access to the flow of God's power. Number three is given to the cause of the kingdom. Of the gospel, sorry. Given to the cause of the gospel. As we keep doing that, we keep also gaining access to greater manifestations of power. Particularly as far as kingdom prosperity is concerned. It's true giving. It's true giving. There's no other way. That is the avenue that God has created. Thou shall remember the Lord your God for it is he that giveth the power.
power to get wealth. That one comes by engaging in the covenant. Practical covenant practice. That's what provokes it. So if you look at all of this, you will discover that you don't grow in these graces just by desiring it. You must engage the requirements. Keep the altar of prayer on fire. Keep yourself committed to going after the lost. Keep advancing the kingdom with the resources at your disposal. And you keep seeing yourself increasing in supernatural.